Hey guys, one of the scariest and coolest things that you're gonna do on your camper build is gonna be actually cutting a hole, is actually cutting a hole on top of the vehicle here to get the fan installed. So I have installed my Max Air fan and this is a review of the Max Air fan and I'm not gonna do the usual reviews that talk about all the great things because all fans are supposed to blow air in and out. We get that. In this video today, I'm actually gonna talk about some of the things that I wish I would have considered before I actually cut this hole and install this fan. So this is the way of actually letting you guys know what kind of issues I'm having with the fan. Maybe a chance for the manufacturer to correct these. I've already gotten a motor replacement. I might need a chip replacement. I've only had the fan for about three months now. So this video is more about some of the things that annoy me with the fan. It is a cool fan. I'll cover some of those things with you guys later on. And let's get the video started. Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this video today I'm going to give you guys a real world honest review of the Max Air Fan Deluxe. And this is the 7500K which has a smoke lid with the remote. So I'm going to cover with you guys this fan in depth. I have a video on how to go ahead and install it. So if you guys want to know about all the pro tips and doing this right the very first time, check the video link below. But in this video today, we're going to focus on this. We're going to see how effective the fan is. And then I'm going to tell you guys about some of the problems because they're really, really annoying. And my unit is only about three months old. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So the real reason I wanted to make this video was because after three months, I've been trying to find a, a resolution to a problem I have with this fan. And it's the 10 beep problem so basically when the fan starts I have no idea why but it will start beeping and it does 10 beeps like this and then just closes up so I've looked everywhere reached out to the manufacturer and nobody has a solution for this I did figure this out so I'm going to share that with you guys in this video however I'm also going to tell you guys all the little things about the fan that you should consider before you purchase this because once you make a hole in your camper van, it's not something you can easily undo. So let's go ahead and get started. Very first thing is this remote, guys. If you guys are getting the deluxe version, you might be really excited about it, thinking that you're going to lay down in the back and you're going to be able to go ahead and adjust the temperature or the fan speed on this fan and I hate to tell you guys you can't because this fan right here is gonna be infrared so what it does is it actually shoots a signal from here to there sorry about that guys the fan is acting up again and basically you need line of sight for infrared to work so remote cool idea bad execution what they should have done is actually put a radio frequency remote in this unit so that way you can be anywhere in your camper van it would work and so for that it's a huge disappointing thumbs down as far as the fan unit itself guys the fan unit is, itself is great it's very quiet however after three months guys i'm actually getting a tiny squeak and it's only one out of ten as far as the volume level, I know it's only going to go ahead and get louder as time goes on. So that is something that you want to definitely pay attention to. The lid operating up and down is amazing and adds a cool effect, makes it really, I guess, uh, great to turn on. But when you have the fan on and you just want to go ahead and completely turn off the fan motor, but you don't want to go ahead and close the lid. There's no way of doing that. So you're going to have to go ahead and turn off the fan, close the lid, and then go ahead and open up this right here or use the button on the remote, which is going to be right here to go ahead and open this. So that's how you're going to have to do it. So that is getting very, very annoying. I'm going to show you guys what to do so you can go ahead and fix that problem. Go ahead and go to where you have the fuse installed for the unit. So to fix the 10 beeps, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and 
remove the actual fuse from your fuse holder and leave it off for about five minutes and then reconnect it and your 10 beeps will be gone and the fan should be operating as normal. And once the unit gets power again, go ahead and hit the on button right here. And I normally go ahead and hit the minus sign a couple of times to achieve a lower speed. I actually have my cover off here, which just pops out by turning these knobs right here and you don't need any tools which is pretty cool because I need access to the serial number there because I'm going to go ahead and try to see how I'm going to get this unit replaced but nonetheless three months old guys and we already have an issue so right now we're going to go ahead and basically pump hot air in so we're going to go turn it around so that's the in and out function right there and this fan, when it is working, guys, it's an amazing fan. Don't get me wrong. I love the fact you can actually leave it open during the rain because of the design of it. So compared to ordinary fans, you don't have to actually put one of those boxes. So if you guys haven't seen a video of mine, which I'll have a link down in the video box below too, on how to go ahead and install a Max fan cover over your fan, I'll have that in the video box below as well. And those are about 40 bucks and you can get a very cheap fan in that case versus paying i think 300 dollars for this fan and right now i'm actually seeing them on amazon guys no joke for about 460 bucks which is insane so i wanted to make sure i gave you guys this honest review and one of the other things too about this fan was when you're installing it the manufacturer should really include the adapter plate so the adapter plate would just make it where you're going to go ahead and install it and it'll make sure that it's flat. So if you guys want to check out the fan install video that would give you a better idea about the mounting adapter because you really do need that because the top of the van is not completely flat. So uh, for $300 that should be included and uh, if you guys got any questions about the fan please let me know. I hope the video helped you out and if you are stuck on the side of the road with that 10 beeps and this video was helpful please comment down below i would really appreciate it and if you guys are new to the channel please consider subscribing if you guys haven't already heard i'm actually planning on giving this printer away to somebody here on youtube uh so it's a possible giveaway on this printer i just want a real good idea on how to structure the contest here so if you guys got any ideas for the actual sprinter giveaway please let me know i would really appreciate it one other thing that's kind of cool is the fan lid actually has two arms where some of the cheaper fan lids only have one arm that actually lifts up the lid. So when you have a two arm design like that, when you are in an area with lots of high gust winds, it will actually do a better job and you get a lot less noise. And you can actually make sure that this is really expanded and out there. And so you're not going to have this thing just rattling all the time like some of the less expensive models that only have one lever pulling it up. There's one there and there's one right there. So I actually installed the remote here next to my battery box and a little seat I made. And the fan is on right now guys. However, if I go up above 40%, it will go ahead and turn off. So I did get a new motor. Uh, that was sent over to me. I have not replaced it. If you guys want to see that, please comment down below. I might record that for you guys as well. And a couple other things that I found out is if you go ahead and touch these two buttons right here, the lid would close. The fan is still on. And I'm going to show you guys what happens when you try to go above 40 or 50 percent. So I'm going to 40% and that is the noise there so yeah and again remember pull out the fuse wait a few seconds or minutes and pop the fuse back in and the fan will start working again or 
go ahead and turn on the fan and lower it to the lowest setting right away and that will cause whatever is causing this not to go ahead and shut off the fan. It's completely done up so I've done all the work. It took me about 28 days to do and I want to share this fun with somebody else in the world and I know some people aren't able to actually afford this and others can't do the work so I've gone ahead and done all the work for somebody else to enjoy so let me know about those ideas guys thanks again sorry about the noise guys sorry about the noise guys it's 107 degrees in here and a couple of other things about the fan here this actually has an auto set on here so you can go ahead and hold this down for about three seconds and you'll hear a single beep then it's reset to 78 degrees and basically the fan will try to do its best to go ahead and maintain that temperature I've never gotten that to work and back here we have a little bit of a screen to keep the bugs and some of the leaves out so pretty cool and again really nice stylish exterior here And from the outside, this looks amazing and doesn't really give you that RV look on a camper van. And so far, even though I drive with this open most of the time, I have not managed to actually hit it against anything, no cracks or anything. So that's pretty cool. And the fact that you can leave this open without having to worry about the rain definitely is a big, big plus. And if you ever needed to go ahead and maybe change it out, it's pretty easy. You just need to go ahead and remove these two side screws on both sides. And this unit would pop out as long as you got the wires disconnected. So if you actually consider it, this is a really good unit. I just wish the electronics were a little bit better improved. And check out the whole van build playlist because I was able to achieve this in about 28 days guys I got some basic trim work to do uh, but other than that I've been enjoying it I've been taking it everywhere and it's been great so I'll share those experiences with you guys